While most of the national sports media was focused on an eighth place driver, the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series delivered its second championship driver in as many weeks at the Arizona Nationals at Firebird Raceway, just outside of Phoenix. Erica Anders Stevens, the only female winner in Pro Stock, captured her fifth national event victory by stopping a dominant Mike Edwards in the final round. Enders outreacted Edwards and led all the way to the finish line with a 6.538 second elapsed time at 211.99 mile per hour performance. Her victory secured a milestone for the NHRA with female drivers winning during the first two events of the season. You have a NASCAR good luck charm, it's just not Danica. I know. <laughs> My crew chief, Conley, he says uh, every time Jimmy Johnson wins, we end up winning. So um, he reminded me of that down there when, when I got out of the car. and I didn't know the results of the 500 prior to the final round today. And uh, he's like, dude, Jimmy won. He won. I think it's a trend. So uh, needless to say, we'll be cheering for Jimmy all year. I weekend, Ron Caps dropped a tough final round to Courtney Force, but this time he was not to be denied. He drove his Napa Auto Parts Dodge to a 4.064 second victory at 314.90 to stop teammate Matt Hagen in the final round. In winning Phoenix, Caps scored round win number 479. You give Tobler a, a good combination and uh, he's going he's gonna to rack a car to death. And that's what he did. I mean, to score a monumental victory by beating Morgan Lucas, Schumacher secured his 70th national event victory and moved into fifth on the NHRA's top fuel all-time wins list. And I think that that was both of us not taking each other for granted. I mean, that was one of those things. Both cars were set up fast, and we both lost it, man. Smoked the tires, and uh, awful lot of fun. You know, people, the fans got their money's worth on that run was worth it. I wish I haven't seen it yet, but I would guarantee it had to be a close race. I could hear him the whole time and it was pedal, pedal, lift, pedal, straighten the car, do it again. You know, love it. It's cowboy stuff like that. I love it. In addition to the three competitive professional divisions, the NHRA Lucas Oil Divisions also came to an exciting conclusion. Harry Doolittle was the big winner in Superstock, while Zach Torres won the stock crown. Jack Durinson won Supercomp, and Brad Pierce topped Supergas. It was Chuck Hawk taking the top dragster victory, and J.R. Lobner rounded out the Lucas Oil champions with a top sportsman victory. The next stop of the 24-race NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series is the Emily Oil NHRA Nationals at Gainesville Raceway, March 14th through the 17th. Kathy Fisher, Competition Plus TV.